Hi, I'm Jim Daniel, and thank you for your interest in the interactive rock identification. Your students would begin by opening the PDF document. And I like to choose full screen view. Now your students can interact with the activity. I'm going to choose my favorite rock to enter. Let's start with sample one, and we're going to click the rock to begin. A series of questions will guide your students, beginning with the rock's texture. Well, I don't know what texture is, so I'm going to click on texture to find out. And now I can read about the rock's crystalline, plastic, or glassy textures. I can read more about crystal grains. I can even enlarge the images. I can go back to crystal grains. I can go back to texture, and back to my original question. If I choose plastic texture for this rock, it tells me that I'm wrong, and I need to go back to sample one. Well, maybe it was glassy. No, it, it wasn't glassy. So now I could go back to texture and reread, but I know that it's crystalline, so let's click on crystalline for the texture. Yes, the rock has a crystalline texture, and now I want to find out about its crystal grain size. So I'm going to select large, and it is large. It's a coarse-grained rock. And I would say this rock does contain light-colored minerals, and I can see that it does not contain layers. Will the rock scratch glass? If I have a classroom sample, I can actually test the rock, or I can just perform the virtual test by clicking on the rock. And I see that this rock does scratch glass. I'll click on Next, and now I get a summary of this rock's properties. I'll click to find the identity of the rock, and I see that sample one is granite. I can read about granite. I can select Next and see some varieties of granite. And then I can go and pick another rock, and we go back to the table of contents. Let's try sample 14 quickly. Through trial and error, I learned that Sample 14 belongs to the other category of textures because it's made from organic material. I'll click the nail to test for particle size, where I see that it has fine grain particle size. Go back and select fine grained. I'll click on the paper to see if this rock will rub off onto paper, and I see that yes, it does. There are no layers, and the rock does not scratch glass. We'll click on the burner to see if this rock will burn, and we see that yes, it does burn. Your students can perform these tests on actual samples in your lab, or you can just do them virtually. This rock is coal. and your students can read about coal. They can also see some varieties of coal. We'll go back to the table of contents, where students can continue to explore 19 igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary rocks. And now we'll take a quick look at some activities that go with the interactive rock identification. Another PDF file contains those activities. These activities can be used on a computer or they can be printed out. The table of contents shows which pages to print for each activity. The interactive rock identification chart is the main activity that goes with the interactive rock identification. Students put down all of their information on this chart as they follow through the 19 samples. The questions that follow focus on the key concepts of rock identification. The Mystery Rock Lab with Clues covers the same 19 rock samples in a different order using different images. Students must focus on the rock's properties. You don't need to have your own classroom samples because the clues will help students identify each rock. But if you do have your own classroom samples, 
the Mystery Rock Lab without clues is a great activity for your students. The Mystery Rock Lab without clues will allow students to investigate classroom samples or even samples that they bring in, focusing on the rock's properties and using the rock chart and the interactive rock identification activity to help them. And finally, there are answer keys for all of the activities, the rock chart, the questions, and the mystery rock lab. The interactive rock identification will work on any device that can view and navigate a PDF document. Earlier, I was on my Mac, but it will work on a PC, a Chromebook, and as you can see here, it's a great experience on the iPad as well. I like to use the Documents app by Readle. And now I can navigate through the interactive rock identification lab. I can zoom. Images are very crystal clear. It's actually a very nice experience on my iPad for students. Thanks for your time. I hope this and other activities in my store will be of value to you and your students.